Welcome to The Savvy Investor, where it's our job to help you thrive in any economy. Annuities have been around for decades, certainly since the 30s, but we've seen more and more advisors recommend annuities to clients because, as the talking heads on the radio suggest, they are safe and guarantee income. But are they truly safe? Can they really guarantee you income? Today, we're going to explore how these guarantees work and whether you are truly safe. Welcome to The Savvy Investor. Each week, The Savvy Investor helps viewers just like you create and grow wealth, protect and preserve it, and distribute it in the most tax-efficient manner while alive and after you have passed. Our goal is to make you a better informed investor that hopefully leads to better results, but certainly less risk along the way. You can have financial security in any economy. Today is the day you can take control of your financial future and eliminate worry about your retirement forever. And now, The Savvy Investor with your host, Michael Kinnett. Today we're talking about annuities, specifically those annuities referred to as fixed index annuities or hybrid annuities. Almost every weekend I hear some radio show where the host, or should I refer to them as a salesman, is telling us, the listener, about these great retirement tools. I'm sure you heard them. They won't actually say the word annuity because I think they're afraid to tell you what they're trying to sell you. They tell you about these guarantees, the bonuses you get. Some tell us about 8 to 10% bonuses just for putting our money into the plan. They even tell us that we can receive five, six, seven, maybe even 8% or more in guaranteed growth to be used for income. They even tell us that we can get double digit returns without actually being in the stock market. Sometimes it feels like they're just trying to sell us something just too good to be true. Certainly Ken Fisher spends a lot of advertising dollars telling you that he hates annuities and you should as well. Regulators and commentators question advisors who recommend annuities because the advisor gets paid a commission. And the question is, are they doing it for the commission or are they making the recommendation because it's a good tool for your retirement? Today we're gonna to explore exactly how insurance companies can actually guarantee that you will earn money, how they can guarantee that you will never lose money in the stock market, how they can guarantee you an income for you and your spouse that you can never outlive, and whether they can truly be considered safe. Before we answer these important questions, let's go to our man on the street with our good friend, Mike Macho. Mike, take it away. Hey, thanks again, Mike. We're taking it to the streets today to find out what people know about annuities and the safety of annuities. Let's see what we find out. What do you think of when I mention the word annuity to you? I see a savings. Savings? Also savings. 20 years play plan. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like a pension plan. Yeah. Annuity, uh, something you have to do every, once a year. Do you currently own an annuity? No. Um, why not? Just haven't thought about it. Have you ever bought an annuity? Yes, we have. Yes. What if I were to tell you that uh, an annuity can guarantee income in retirement? I'd be interested. I think it will. It can and will if you have it. Have you ever heard uh, of any misconceptions about an annuity, good or bad? Misconceptions? I, I, I'll be honest, I haven't heard anything about it. Very interesting about annuities, Mike. Back to you in the studio. Great piece, Mike. So today on the show, we're gonna explore how these fixed index annuities work, from the costs associated with them, to the guaranteed income they provide, to how safe they really are. You're watching The Savvy Investor, and we'll be right back. Call today for your free annuity stress test to see if your annuity gets a clean bill of financial health. Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800-787-SAVVY. 
Want to lower your taxes by as much as 25% this year? If you think Uncle Sam has taken too much of your hard-earned money, it's time you did something about it. Our specialists and attorneys have over 100 years of experience helping hardworking retirees just like you. For a limited time, we're giving $99 income tax preparation appointments to everyone who calls and mentions this offer. Our licensed team of professionals can help assist you with sound tax planning, financial planning, and investment management. Taxes are too important to let just anyone prepare your returns. Call ProStatus at 800-787-SAVVY or visit ProStatusFinancial.com to ensure you get all you've earned. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work to protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call 1-800-787-SAVVY. Welcome back to The Savvy Investor. Today we're exploring equity index annuities and how they provide safe income to retirees. We hear advertisements, radio shows, infomercials, all telling us how important it is to protect your hard-earned nest egg from the stock market. Many of us are gonna live 20, 30 years into retirement, and the money we worked so hard for and saved over the last 30 to 50 years has to last. Nobody wants to go back to work, and the biggest fear most retirees have is what? The fear of running out of money in retirement. The question is, what can we use, retirement planning-wise, that will guarantee and ensure that we don't run out of money? According to many advisors, the solution is to purchase an annuity. Well, if we're gonna give some of our money to an insurance company, I want to know how safe my money really is. And today, our guest expert is going to address that very issue. Ryan Wheelis joins us today. Ryan is the president and co-founder of Allied Wealth. They're a premier independent financial planning firm in Houston. He's got over a decade of experience helping clients reach and maintain their financial goals. Ryan, welcome to The Savvy Investor. Thanks so much for having me on again, Mike. So, you know, I brought you on specifically, you know, I hear all the time on the radio, um, we get emails from the viewers about guarantees and insurance companies guaranteeing income streams and guaranteeing their money, guaranteeing not to lose money in the stock market. And, and I know this is an area that you specialize in and I wanna have a conversation with you. I want us to explain and understand what these guarantees are about. Well, let's start with the four types of annuities because one of the annuities, Mike, has no guarantees. It's a risk-based annuity. The insurance company puts your money into the stock market and there's nobody that supports the guarantees in the stock market, not even the insurance company, okay? The other annuity- Well, that's called? That's a variable annuity. And that's okay? the one that Ken Fisher hates. It's, that is the one that Ken Fisher hates, exactly okay. right. Thank you so much for, for, for clarifying that. And the, the other three types are the immediate annuity. That's like a pension, okay? Right. Provides guaranteed income stream for life. The next one is the hybrid annuity. All right, allows for accumulation of money, but will also guarantee income for life. Okay. okay? And that's the one, by the way, that if, if you pass away and you're getting income payments, there's money typically left over for your beneficiaries. Because the immediate annuity, if you die and your spouse dies, there might not be anything at all. That's right, Mike. Right. So a lot of people think the insurance company, uh, when you die, they keep your money. And that does happen in an immediate annuity, but not a hybrid annuity. Right. Okay. okay. And the final one is the fixed annuity. And the fixed annuity, you compare directly to a bank CD. Well, now, now we're comparing it to a bank CD, but it's it's a little bit different, right? Because the bank CD has FDIC, and when when we're saying a CD, we assume there's some sort of guarantee. That's exactly. And you right. don't have the FDIC. But the fixed annuities are not backed up by the FDIC. Okay, what the but there is a legal reserve system that does back up insurance companies. Well, let's talk about that well, because I mean I think that's really the, the people gist don't know of, about it, of the guarantees. That's that's how these things. So let's talk about the reserve so system for, for when insurance an insurance companies. company takes in your one dollar. Okay. okay. They make money with it the exact same way a bank does. Right. They loan it back out. But instead of loaning it back out in the form of a commercial real estate loan or a home loan or a car loan or a credit card, they go, the insurance companies go out into the bond market and buy investment grade bonds. Right. Okay. And so those bonds are held to maturity. Okay. And so an investment grade bond has a value that it's bought for, a guaranteed interest rate, and a time period that the, uh, the bondholder will receive their interest payments and all their money back. Okay, and a very, very high quality bond portfolio is what makes up a very, very good insurance company. Okay, so if you look at a balance sheet, for instance, say a $30 billion balance sheet of an insurance company, 
they're going to have about $27 billion in liabilities, and that's the money they owe the policyholders, okay? The, the index annuity, the fixed annuity, annuity, index annuity, whatever annuity, it is. Right. Exactly right, okay. okay? But see, they're also going to have $27 billion in real assets, real bonds, bonds. held to maturity, okay? Right. Real assets, real bonds held to maturity that they could liquidate if they needed to, to pay off all the policyholders, right? And in that scenario, we started with a $30 billion balance sheet. We have $27 billion in assets and liabilities. That means there's an additional $3 billion left over. So they've kept reserves. They've kept Absolutely. the profits and reserves. So it's almost like, Mike, for every dollar you put in an insurance company, they can back you up to as much as a dollar ten. Right. So now when we're looking at these reserves, if you're trying to make a decision about the bonds, if you're trying to make a decision actually about the insurance company in which to, I don't know if invest is quite the right word, but to place your money, place with. Your money with. I would think that you would want to know, if you're working with an advisor who's making this recommendation, you want to know how good those underlying bonds are, correct? We call that the vital statistics of the insurance company. Okay. So is that something they should ask their advisor? Let Absolutely. me see it? Absolutely. Show me the vital statistics of this insurance company. You prove to me that this insurance company has the balance sheet in its, in its possession to pay me these guarantees. Right. Show and, it to me. And it, it seems to me that, you know, we always recommend that if you're going to work with a financial planner or a financial advisor, it's somebody with a fiduciary duty to look out for your best interest. And, and, and this vital statistics paper, the, the reports, would be something that a good financial advisor would certainly want to sure, supply. Sure they would. You, I mean, I, I would, not put a, would, would not want to buy an annuity with my own money without seeing the vital statistics. Okay, of that insurance. So you can see how healthy it is and that they really could. What their bond portfolio looks like. Are they holding any subprime debt? Are they holding any bad real estate debt? Are they holding any debt from the Eurozone or any, any countries around the world that are failing as, as far right. as their, 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 uh, their central banks go? Um, and then do they ha hold any bad debt as far as companies go? And most of the insurance companies that we deal with, Mike, the amount of money that they have in bonds that goes bad is so minute and it's such a small percentage of the overall bond portfolio because the bond portfolio is very, very high quality. Plus, because of the diversification of various bonds across different sectors, okay, right. the, the, the client's money ultimately really doesn't wind up in any one bond. They have a piece of a bond across several, several companies. Right. And, and, and obviously, when, when, just like at a bank, when you put your money at a bank, you know, your money, your, your physical money isn't in an actual account. It's in a common pool. That's so, right. Right. So, right. So, Oh, I want to take a break here and, and start addressing um, some viewer email. So, Ryan, great explanation. I think we have a, a firm grasp of how these insurance companies are going to guarantee at least our principal back to us, how they're guaranteeing us this money. I, I do want to get to how they guarantee that income stream, how mm -hmm. that works. Before we go there, let's take a look at some viewer mail. Uh, John from State College, Pennsylvania. He writes this and says, his insurance agent is suggesting I purchase an immediate annuity, you talked about that, to provide income during my retirement, but with interest rates so low, this seems like a bad idea to him. What do you think? I mean, interest rates are pretty low. They are pretty low, okay? Um, and an immediate annuity could pay more income than a, uh, a hybrid annuity, okay? Um, it just depends on when he's starting, wanting to start this income. And his age, and, right? And his age, right? right? And so what we would want to do is go and look at, hey, for every dollar you put in, how much income do you get out on the other side? And that may be accomplished for him in an immediate annuity, but it may be better accomplished in a hybrid annuity. So for John, the, the answer I think is, is that you sit down with somebody, if you're gonna think about an immediate annuity, figure out what the income stream is, look at alternatives, mm -hmm. and see what the best guaranteed income stream happens to be. That's exactly right, but one caveat, Mike, with that immediate annuity is if, if John dies a week after purchasing the thing, okay, um, and the insurance company keeps all that money. So they're hoping you die early and you're hoping sure, you'll live longer. That's exactly right. But see, the th in that case, there would be no money left over for John's heirs if it was important for him to have his money passed to the next generation. From Rachel in uh, St. George, Utah, uh, Rachel writes this and says, my stockbroker suggested that I purchase a variable annuity from, Pr from Prudential. He says that my money is guaranteed. So let's talk about how, what type of guarantees are with Prudential, how that works. Well, basically what happens, Mike, is when Prudential gets your money, they're going to take your money and they're going to invest it not in a bond portfolio held to maturity. They're going to invest that money in a mutual fund portfolio, okay? And what they're going to say is, look, your beneficiaries are guaranteed to get no less than what you put in, right? Less what you take out. Less what you take out, okay? So let's just assume there's no withdrawals, right? You start with 100000 okay? Market crashes. You've got 40% less money, and you've got $60,000 of real money left, all right? If you die, your beneficiaries are guaranteed to get no less than you put in. So you started with 100000 
account value dropped to 60, you died, you're gonna, your heirs are gonna get a, get a check for 100 grand. So I love my kids. You know what, Mike, it sucks. Yes. Because I don't have any client that walks into my office that's trying to figure out how to die. Right. They're all trying to figure out how to, how to live the best life possible in their golden years. So can, can those variable, because that's really what it is. Prudential is a variable annuity company. At least they offer variable annuities. Mm -hmm. Can a variable annuity guarantee your principal come back to you? No. Right. No, it can't. Well, they have an income guarantee, okay, of, of, of typically a, a growth rate of, a of some guarantee of sort. Um, and if you took money long enough, you could potentially get all your money back and some potential money from the insurance companies, okay? But typically what I see on those variable annuity policies is that the, the, if it's an IRA, the wife can't be put on the IRA as a, as a joint survivor, right? So if the husband passes away, the wife gets whatever's left in the bucket, if you will, of the mutual fund portfolio, minus the withdrawals, minus the fees, minus any market losses. And those are the Ken Fisher fees. That's exactly right, okay? Three and a half percent in most cases, and higher, okay? So great information for our viewers today on the guarantees offered by insurance companies, how they work, why they work. When we come back, we're gonna continue our conversation with Ryan on how to create safe, sound, guaranteed income streams. You're watching The Savvy Investor, and we'll be right back. If you have questions, drop us a line. Each week, our experts will address viewer mail, and you can email us your questions or go to our website, thesavvyinvestortv.com, and click on Contact Us. Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work, to protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call 1-800-787-SAVVY. Now keep in mind that just like any tool, there's the right tool for the right job and a wrong tool for the wrong job. We've just scratched the surface here and you'll want to know more about how today's conversation might or might not fit your needs. Ask about fees, surrender charges, market risk, interest rate risks, how the guarantees work, liquidity, and much more. Remember, the right tool for the right job. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800 787 Savvy. Welcome back to the Savvy Investor. I'm your host, Michael Kinnett. Today I'm joined by Ryan Wheelis, and we've been talking about annuities and the guarantee that these insurance companies offer. The first half of the program, we talked about uh, the guarantees and how the insurance companies guarantee that they're going to pay you back. How they back it up. How they back it up. Yeah. And, and now I want to get into how these insurance companies are going to guarantee an income stream for, for retirees. Okay. So, Mike, the, the, the situation with guaranteeing a, an income stream for retirees in today's market, most often an advisor is going to try to position an income rider to the client, okay? And what they're going to tell the client is, Miss Jones, I can guarantee your money grows at 10% a year, all right? Or I can guarantee your money grows at 6% a year or 7% a year. In reality, the insurance companies aren't guaranteeing you 6, 7, 8, or 9, or 10%, not even close to it, okay? So what I want to do is just try to show the folks at home exactly what they're getting themselves into when they look at buying one of these income riders. Okay. Here's an example, okay? You've got different rates of, of guarantee, 6%, you have 7% in some cases, uh, there's one out there that's got 8%, 
And the big one out there right now that a lot of people are seeing are 10%. And obviously most people want the 10%. Well, wouldn't it make sense yeah. that the, the, the guaranteed be 10% would make produce more income? Correct. And, and, and the answer, Mike, is this. In this scenario that I want to show you, here's what matters. There's a value that these roll-up rates, as they're called, are going to achieve at some point in time in the future, okay? So let's just say that this roll-up rate happens to achieve over a period of time a balance of $200,000, all right? Well, we understand that these annuities are living income benefits. And, and, and I, wanna, I wanna clarify this. What we're talking about is you're gonna put in X amount at 6% to get you 200,000, Y amount at seven and so on. So the different the amount you put in may be different to get you to two hundred thousand. That's exactly right. But the roll up rate that gets you to the two hundred. That's okay. exactly right. Okay, thanks right. for clarifying right. that. Now, what what we have to get to though is how do the people at home benefit from that two hundred thousand dollar value? Right? right. It's not a value that you get to take out of the insurance company and go invest somewhere else. Right. It's an income writer, which is what you said. That's right. Okay. So here's what what happens is they assign you a payout factor. Okay and a payout factor of say 5% would mean that this annuity here would pay the client $10,000 per year guaranteed for the rest of her life, okay? So what's often marketed is the roll-up rates, right? But what's not talked about is these payout factors and these payout factors differ across various insurance companies and different annuities. And here's an example, I had a lady come in and she says, Ryan, I've got this advisor who's selling me this 10% product. 10%, 10%. You're telling me how this works, and this is a little bit different than the way he explained it, so what, what, how, does this, how does this happen? And what I told her, I said, for every dollar you put into this thing, the only thing that matters is how much income do you get out of it. That's all that matters. Right. And so what I showed her, Mike, was this. I took the income guarantee that the 10% annuity would pay her, okay? And I compared it to what the 6% annuity would pay her. Guess which one was higher? Well, I'm, I'm going to take a leap of faith here. The 6%. The 6% was higher. Right, I mean, but common sense would say, you know, if you sat down and talked with somebody, common sense would say 10% is better, therefore I'm going to have more money. That's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. But in this scenario, it doesn't work that way. So, again, the only thing that matters is every, for every dollar you put in, how much money do you get out of the annuity? How much income do you right. get? Okay? So what typically needs to be understood here is you've got to go out and shop the insurance carriers and really stop looking at the 6% or 7% or 8% or 10% and just really focus on how much income do I get out of the thing. Because, I mean, if, if, if we think about it, the thought is I have to put less money in at 10%. That's right. But the reality is I might have to put less money at 6% because of the greater payout at the end. That's right. And at the end of the day, it's really about how much I actually get. That's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. So right. We, want to, we want to try to control the amount of capital that goes into these things, right? To, to keep it at the limit. Ex I mean, you, you want to put the least amount of possible. At the least amount of po money possible in this. So what we do is we take your money and we have the top three insurance carriers in the industry bid for your dollars. And once you ever one has the highest payout to you, that's the one we go with. And then, and then that feeds back into you also want to make sure the top three that are bidding for you have those vital statistics that look good. Yes, sir. There may be a company out there that has a higher payout uh, of, of, of money from the every dollar you put in, right. but their vital statistics may not look as good as we want them to. And, th and keep in mind, if you buy this thing, it could be there to pay you for 30 years. That insurance company better have a good enough balance sheet to be able to pay you for the next You want them years. around for 30 years. Yeah, I want them around for 100 years. Great information, Ryan. We really appreciate what you brought to the table today. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we return, we're going to address the three takeaways from Ryan. You're watching The Savvy Investor, and we'll be right back. Call today for your free annuity stress test to see if your annuity gets a clean bill of financial health. Interested in learning more about planning for your financial future? Join Michael Kinnett, host of The Savvy Investor and best-selling author in person for an important, life-changing financial workshop on the following dates and start taking control of your future. If you are ready to discover the financial tools and strategies that can help you build the retirement of your dreams, just call 1-800-787-SAVVY today to reserve your spot. If you're in retirement or retiring in the next three to five years, you must read Michael Kinnett's best-selling book, Surviving the Perfect Storm. Best-selling author and National Quill Award winner, Michael Kinnett's Surviving the Perfect Storm is a must-read to prepare for your golden years. This amazing book can be yours absolutely free, but you must call 800-787-SAVVY. 
Supplies are limited, so be one of the first 25 callers to receive your free limited edition autograph copy of Surviving the Perfect Storm. Call 800-787-SAVVY. Most of us understand that planning is the key to retiring with the resources and benefits you need. Most of us also don't think about what would happen if a significant portion of these resources were taken away from us before we reached our goals. This can happen through a bad investment, a lawsuit, or even unintended expenses. As the nation's leading asset protection attorney, this is the area in which I work, to protect the assets you've worked so hard to create so that they're there for you when you need them. Call 1-800-787-SAVVY. Today we were joined by Ryan Wheelis. He is the president and co-founder of Allied Wealth. In today's conversation, Ryan spelled out how these insurance company guarantees actually work for you. Our takeaways of the day, number one, the guarantees are backed by the bonds the insurance company owns. This means you need to make sure that you look at the credit ratings not only of the insurance company, but of the bonds they're using to protect you, to provide you those guarantees you're gonna rely on. Number two, you're responsible for your own retirement income. During your retirement years, it may make sense to use a portion of your retirement savings to create a safe, steady, and secure income stream that you, your spouse, and your family can't outlive. And finally, number three, the payout does matter. Make sure you get the best monthly income stream from your annuity. Thank you, Ryan, for some great information. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you, the Savvy Investor, next week. Call today for your free annuity stress test to see if your annuity gets a clean bill of financial health. Every retiree's goal from our perspective is to take the least amount of risk possible to accomplish your goals. Too often financial advisors and stockbrokers assess your risk tolerance. Just because you can tolerate the risk doesn't mean you have to accept it. Remember, at the end of the day, it isn't how much you make, it is how much you keep. If you would like more information about today's topic, you can contact our offices or visit us on the web at thesavvyinvestortv.com. When you visit our website, sign up for our free weekly newsletter where we give you tidbits each week to help you make smart money choices.